This review is going to be on my modified Daisy 74. It's a single CO2 powered semi automatic 177 caliber BB rifle. It has a reservoir here on the bottom. It holds uh, 200 BBs. The internal magazine holds 15 BBs. It does come with adjustable rear sight for elevation and windage. It does have a dot on the front blade. Push safety. So as far as modifications go, oh, and a rail of course on top to mount optics and accessories. As far as modifications go to this rifle, uh, basically what I did was I put on a riser, mounted an optic, a little bit more forward, put on a uh, grip, forward grip, and I mounted a sling. But I also uh, did some internal work to increase the velocity of this rifle and I kind of it's just in my habit to kind of modify some of these guns uh, to increase the velocity on this one uh, after the first shot when I first got this rifle I knew I had to uh, increase the velocity on this rifle it was rather anemic uh, actually you know I hate to say it, but very unimpressive. Uh, granted, it is wintertime. The box states 350 feet per second, and I was not getting anywhere near that. Granted, again, it was 50 degrees that day, and I was just breaking 300 feet per second. So, again, took the rifle apart, uh, did some work on the valve, and I wanna call it the hammer, and reassembled the rifle and you know again I was being you know I didn't want to go for too much extreme power because then of course there's always a trade-off you get more power you get less shots but uh, I did want to increase the velocity again because it just it, it, it didn't impress me at all I, I was wasn't happy with the power this rifle was giving out so uh, we will do a velocity test now to see uh, what I got it up to. So next up is the velocity test. The box claims 350 feet per second as a maximum velocity. When I received the rifle, I did a, an initial velocity test on the rifle, which is something I need to start doing. And the temperature was roughly the same as it is today, 50 degrees. And I got a high of 303 feet per second. I did film that. Unfortunately, um, didn't work out too well. But uh, since this rifle has been modified, we will see what the velocity is now. So as you can see, even on a day that's 50 degrees, we did achieve higher than the 350 feet per second. Um, the uh, modification I did to this uh, rifle was actually kind of conservative. Um, I did want to increase the velocity, but I also wanted to have uh, keep a high number of shots uh, with that. Next up is the accuracy test for this rifle. Target's down range of 12 yards. I'm gonna fire 10 shots using the Hornady Black Diamond BBs and uh, show you what that looks like.
and that is 10 shots at 12 yards from this rifle. Uh, I would say on a day like today, actually kind of impressive. Don't know if it would have done the same thing uh, on the stock valve, but um, I like that. Not bad for 12 yards for a cheap BB gun or BB rifle. And a breezy day at that. After that uh, 12 yard accuracy test, I kind of feel like uh, maybe I can push this rifle a little bit more. So I've uh, changed the CO2 cartridge. Uh, temperature's dropping. It's getting a little chilly out here. Changed the CO2 cartridge. And from the cone to the tin cans down there is 19 yards. I'm pushing it big time. But I've got uh, 15 BBs in the internal magazine, and I'm going to see if I can take down those tin cans with uh, 15 BBs. Hopefully, I won't need all 15. So let's see how this goes. Didn't work out so well. I still say not bad for 19 yards with a Daisy 74. That was fun. Uh, yeah. I would say uh, after modifying this rifle, it's 100 times better than when it was when I first took it out of the box. All right, so to wrap this video up, my opinions on the Daisy 74. Uh, in stock form, I mean, it's cool for, you know, four, five, six-year-old, seven-year-old. Um, it's kind of weak. I mean, it does say 350 feet per second. Don't know what it would be like on a nice summer day, but... Uh, on a 50 degree get day, uh, I hit a high of 303. Um, here it is, well, 50 degrees and uh, I almost hit 400 feet per second. So I definitely increased the velocity. And, uh, you know, with an optic on it and the increased velocity, uh, it's not bad, it's pretty fun. Um, it's easy to modify, uh, or I should say, to work on this uh, rifle. Um, so if you want to, if you have a 74 and you want to modify it, I mean, it took me two drill bits and my sander and, I don't know, maybe a half an hour, and that's it. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't difficult, it wasn't long at all, and I am quite happy with the results. 
again stock pass unless you're giving it to a kid but modified yeah uh, i'd say go for it definitely do it if you have one and uh that's the end of the video for today